and whatever ye spend in charity or devotion, be sure God knows it all. But the wrongdoers have no helpers. If ye disclose acts of charity, even so it is well, but if ye conceal them, and make them reach those really in need, that is best for you, it will remove from you some of your stains of evil. And God is well acquainted with what ye do. It is not required of thee, O messenger, to set them on the right path, but God sets on the straight way whom he pleaseth. Whatever of good ye give benefits your own souls, and ye shall only do so seeking the face of God. Whatever good ye give, shall be rendered back to you karma, sowing and reaping, cross-reference, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. End of cross-reference. And ye shall not be dealt with unjustly. Charity is for those in need, who, in God's cause are restricted from travel, and cannot move about in the land, seeking for trade or work, the ignorant man thinks, because of their modesty, that they are free from want. Thou shalt know them by their unfailing mark. They beg not importunately from all and sundry. And whatever of good ye give, be assured God knoweth it well. Those who in charity spend of their goods by night and by day, in secret and in public, have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Those who devour usury interest will not stand except as stands one whom the evil one by his touch hath driven to madness. That is because they say, Trade is like usury, but God hath permitted trade and forbidden usury. Those who after receiving direction from their Lord, desist, shall be pardoned for the past, their case is for God to judge, but those who repeat the offense are companions of the fire, they will abide therein forever. God will deprive usury interest of all blessing, but will give increase for deeds of charity, for he loveth not creatures ungrateful and wicked. Those who believe, and do deeds of righteousness, and establish constant prayer and regular charity, will have their reward with their Lord, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. O ye who believe! Fear God, and give up what remains of your demand for usury interest, if ye are indeed believers. If ye do this not, take notice of war from God and his messenger. But if ye turn back from usury, ye shall have your capital sums, deal not unjustly, and ye shall not be dealt with unjustly. If the debtor is in a difficulty, grant him time till it is easy for him to repay. But if ye remit it by way of charity, that is best for you if ye only knew. And fear the day when ye shall be brought back to God. Then shall every soul be paid what it earned, and none shall be dealt with unjustly. O ye who believe, when ye deal with each other, in transactions involving future obligations in a fixed period of time, reduce them to writing. Let a scribe write down faithfully as between the parties, let not the scribe refuse to write, as God has taught him, so let him write. Let him who incurs the liability dictate, but let him fear his Lord God, and not diminish aught of what he owes. If the party liable is mentally deficient, or weak, or unable himself to dictate, let his guardian dictate faithfully. And get two witnesses, out of your own men, and if there are not two men, then a man and two women, such as ye choose, for witnesses, so that if one of them errs, the other can remind her. The witnesses should not refuse when they are called on for evidence. Disdain not to reduce to writing your contract for a future period, whether it be small or big, it is more just in the sight of God, more suitable as evidence, and more convenient to prevent doubts among yourselves. But if it be a which ye carry out on the spot among yourselves, there is no blame on you if ye reduce it not to writing. But take witness whenever ye make a commercial contract, and let neither scribe nor witness suffer harm. If ye do such harm, it would be wickedness in you. So fear God, for it is God that teaches you. And God is well acquainted with all things. If ye are on a journey, and cannot find a scribe, a pledge with possession may serve the purpose. 
And if one of you deposits a thing on trust with another, let the trustee faithfully discharge his trust, and let him fear his Lord. Conceal not evidence for whoever conceals it, his heart is tainted with sin. And God knoweth all that ye do. To God belongeth all that is in the heavens and on earth. Whether ye show what is in your minds or conceal it from others, God calleth you to account for it. He forgiveth whom he pleaseth, and punisheth whom he pleaseth, for God hath power over all things. The messenger believeth in what hath been revealed to him from his Lord, as do the men of faith. Each one of them believeth God, his angels, his books, and his apostles. We make no distinction they say, between one and another of his apostles, and they say, We hear, and we obey. We seek thy forgiveness, our Lord, and to thee is the end of all journeys, on no soul doth God place a burden greater than it can bear. It gets every good that it earns, and it suffers every ill that it earns. Pray, our Lord. Condemn us not if we forget or fall into error, our Lord. Lay not on us a burden like that which thou didst lay on those before us, our Lord. Lay not on us a burden greater than we have strength to bear. Blot out our sins, and grant us forgiveness. Have mercy on us. Thou art our protector, help us against those who stand against faith. King of Kings Bible, by Jah.